So guys, before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you know that we've got a couple of new releases over on the Sulfit website. We've got finally got grey hoodies. So these are the brand new essential hoodies. I'm wearing a size extra large. We've got it in this nice grey and we've got it in beige as well. And we've also just restocked the grey comfort joggers as well. So if you want to go and check anything out, guys, it's all going to be linked in the description. Go and have a look. But yeah, super comfy. They're like a regular fit, the hoodies. They're not too baggy. They're not too tight. It's like true to size, so I'd definitely go true to size if you are going to get one, but yeah. Enjoy the video, guys. Catch you in a bit. guys hope you're all well welcome back to another video right so today got another bit of a vlog for you another day in the life i think to be honest these are my favorite videos to make these are when, what i started youtube off doing and i'm just going to continue to make them so if you do enjoy the videos guys don't forget to drop them a like subscribe to the channel if you've not already I'll tell you what i've got a pretty busy day so i've got quite a few things to do quite a few errands to run and a few bits to do gotta to go to the office do a few things but Bloody hell, my face feels weird. I have not been clean shaven, full shave for a long time. Probably like 18 months, I feel like. I don't know. <laughs> I feel dead young. It makes me look about five years younger, I think. It's not the one. But once it's grown back, it'll feel better. The beard was just doing my head in. It's just too long and curly, and I've just had enough of it. Like So, bit of a fresh start. Hopefully it'll look better when the stubble's grown back, but yeah. I've got a first off film, a YouTube video upstairs, I'm doing a bit of a Hollister haul, so I'm going to go and do that now, and I'm going to head to my supplier, and I'll take you through the rest of the day, so let's get on with it. So I've just been sewing on my shoes, I've got all these we've got under here, we've got loads of boots, actual shoes, trainers, and then if we go into here, I've still got some, I think I'm going to get rid of these ones, just because I never wear them and they don't really seem to fit, if you come into here, We've got a full rack there. Full rack. And then I've got a new one over here, which again is a full rack. <sighs> it's not a, it's not a bad problem, is it? It's just storage for it all. When I get like a bigger house, I'm gonna get like these Billy bookcases. I'm gonna get about four of these because they're actually sick, you know. So cheap as well. I think they cost like 25 quid from IKEA. It's just a bargain and it looks dead clean, doesn't it? Actually looks class, so yeah. Maybe I'm not allowed to get any more trainers like, because I've got literally no space for them at all. I think the only place I can put them now is under the clothing rail. I think we already have got one pair of Contis under there. Oh yeah guys, we're just gonna film the um Hollister Hall now. And then we'll get on with the rest of the day. This is how the room's looking so far. Just got to the office, guys. Just had to nip to my supplier before then to drop off a few things to get printed. So we've got some long sleeve t-shirts, which we'll be dropping hopefully next month. And then some new colored t-shirts as well, gray navy, be coming in February at some point. So keep an eye out for that. But the releases are going live on Sunday of Sulfur. I'm wearing these new hoodies here. We've got them in gray and the casual comfort joggers as well are dropping so yeah she's got a few orders to pack here get that sorted then i'm gonna walk to tesco i think get something to eat it's going well in the office you know actually it's going well like we've ordered i ordered the v2 gray joggers a few days ago but because it's chinese and um, new year they take time off so the supplier over there has time off so it might take a bit of time before i get them it's probably going to be end of april which is a while away isn't it but at least they're ordered now and the V2 version is so better than the V1 in my opinion, absolutely love them. As well guys, I might actually make a video on like the behind the scenes, you know, of running like a small clothing brand. You don't have to have like a massive warehouse, a massive following to grow like a small brand. You can actually do it just just hard graft, putting in the work, do you know what I mean? And finding a bit of a niche, like having the designs of clothing, that your niche wants to wear like i'm definitely in 2021 going to be going a lot more minimal like maybe 
you know, like the same colour logo as on the garment. So say if it's like a navy pair of joggers, navy logo. Like the triple black joggers have just gone so well. So I know you guys just want to see that sort of stuff now. And if there's any other sort of stuff you want me to bring out, any other designs, any other jackets or stuff like that, let me know in the comments. I'm always open to ideas. The puffer jackets are brought out in December. I'm not going to lie to you guys, they didn't really sell well. Like, for some reason, jackets maybe, it's not the sort of thing you guys want to go for. Maybe they're a bit too expensive, maybe you didn't like the design, but they didn't really go well. But with having a brand like this, it's all about trying and testing different things. So do you know what I mean? At least we tried. It's just one item. That's why, that's the good thing I like. Like, you'll bring out different products, right? Some will stick, some won't. Just people just don't like certain things. It's just one of those, isn't it? you just got to keep testing, learning, analysing, and then just keep working hard. That's what it's all about. Anyway, I'm going to head to Tesco now. I've got to post a few orders, and then I've got to go home because the dogs are still at my house because my mum and dad are moving today. So, big things for them. Big move. Never going to see that house again. It's at the end of an era. I loved that house, you know. It was a fucking sick house, but got to grow up, got to be a big boy one day, haven't you? So... Um, very happy that I've moved that one. It's like the start of a, a new life, actually, like proper growing up, isn't it? Anyway, let's head to Tesco. A lot of you have been asking about the casual comfort joggers, so these are going to be live on Sunday. They'll be live when you're watching this video. We've got them in all sizes, extra small as well, and hopefully, guys, they'll be coming in black soon. Like, my supplier's just been having problems, like, getting them made, so hopefully, in black soon. Obviously, the material. It's taking a while to source or something, but grey available on Sunday and then black. Hopefully February, hopefully, fingers crossed. On the walk to Tesco now, guys. It's definitely good to get in the fresh air, you know. In this lockdown, what have you got to do? got to try and keep as positive as possible i know the gyms aren't open it's not ideal shops aren't open you can't really do much but got to do what you can get out there get some walks involved walk into tesco get the steps up makes a difference with the sky being blue compared to raining doesn't it makes a huge difference what to prefer it i'd rather it be cold but sunny rather than like a bit warmer and rainy. Not, not a fan of the rain. Anyway, let's get this meal deal involved. This is what I picked up from Tesco, guys. So we just got a tuna and cucumber sandwich. It's like a lower calorie one, 268 for the sandwich. Usually I do get the prawn one, but this has got a bit more protein in it. So I thought I'd go for this today. We've got a pack of just cashew nuts, plain cashew nuts. I actually really like these, you know, they taste very nice. Good source of magnesium, as it says. Yeah, just like healthy fats, isn't it, with the nuts. And a little pack of uh, duck sushi. This is a lifesaver. It's like 80 calories. And it's just the one. I absolutely love it. It's very nice. And then just a Diet Coke. Got a bit of ham for if I want a bit of extra protein. But we'll see how it goes. I'll just get this involved. And then take the packages to the post office or to Hermes, wherever it is. And then I'm going to head home. I've got a bit of work to do on my laptop still, but it was running out of charging there, so I need to plug it in at home. Just been testing a few Facebook ads recently. I need to schedule a few uh, sulfur emails to go out to get ready for the launch and stuff like that. And then I need to get my Instagram post sorted as well. So that is basically my day. My day does revolve around sulfur a lot and creating content. Those are the main two factors. Obviously, I just want to try and keep... Uh, growing sulfate the brand as much as I can really and and just try and bring out the best possible products For the best possible price as well. So just takes time. We're getting there. We are getting there very excited this year For this for the new releases and stuff coming out, but listening to a bit of the Joe Rogan podcast now and I'm gonna eat my lunch Have you been good girls while I've been out at the office? Do this. There's a lot. Have you? Oh, is this my ASOS stuff? Yeah Oh, it's very heavy. is that just, it is it just one it. bag? Yeah, it must have broken, can't it? Right, so this is the second month, it's not second month, the second batch of ASOS stuff that we've got. Oh, so what happens is, basically, this you, I can choose 50% of my stuff 
in the first week and then like in the third week I can choose another 50 cents it's just so when I make the videos all the stuff from the videos is in stock because a lot of the times ASOS stuff sells out so fast so it's good to make sure that it's in stock for you guys if you actually like the stuff and you want to buy it you know what I mean so let's open this up have a look we've got two pairs of trainers in there surprise surprise I'm gonna have no space for them you literally no I'm literally gonna have no space for them Okay, down there. What is it? Oh, it's a bag inside a bag. It's like past the parcel. Are you ready, Roxy? Are you ready? Oh, yeah. So yeah, we have got two pairs of trainers. High top Converse I do not own, so I thought I'd get some involved. And we got some more Oswegos because the other ones, right? I was wearing them that much. They got knackered rapid, and they started getting a hole in the front, so. Hopefully these ones, it won't happen. Look at that. Very They're very nice. Very fresh. Not gonna lie guys, my room is a little bit of a mess at the minute. The room where I've got all my clothes, it's mad. All these clothes, right, the ones that I don't keep, I send them to charity. So we've got lots of clothes that we collect over the months and stuff, you know what I mean? And it's best for it going to a good cause. But anyway guys, I want to talk to you about today's video one. So you guys know I love my bracelets. Look at all the collection I've got here. I might have to do an accessories video soon, but we've got so many different colours, super minimal, super clean, and then we've got necklaces as well. This bar necklace is still my favourite, has to be my favourite, absolutely love it. But yeah guys, I just want to talk about today's video sponsor, Rose Gold and Black. So if you've not heard of them before, it's a men's minimal jewellery accessories company. They specialise in bracelets, necklaces, minimal watches super clean super fresh absolutely love them i think they do do some women's now so it's like a good present for like your girlfriend you know what i mean or your mom sister something like that valentine's day the birthday but if you want to go and check them out i can't recommend them enough you always see me speaking about them on the channel this gray one here i've got on it's very nice isn't it super comfy as well and it's not too in the face it's not a dead flash it's not like that expensive jewelry it just does the job, it finishes off an outfit really well. So I'm gonna put a link in the description, it's gonna be right at the top. And when you do use that link as well, you get a free item when you add stuff to the car. And you can use my code as well. So you can use my code Josh Sull to get an extra 10% off, which is very nice. And you get an extra item added to your car when you add a few bits. So make sure you go and get involved, guys. There's gonna be a link below, go and check them out. So guys, just going to head for a run. It's a little bit later than usual. It's pretty dark, but half past seven, probably do like three, four K. Been running about three times a week at the minute and feeling pretty good actually. Like my legs are aching a little bit, but going to get on with it. Just got back from the run guys. To be honest, that was one of the toughest ones I've done for a while, you know. I felt so bloated on it for some reason. I hadn't eaten much food today, so maybe that was why. Um, could have been that one. Could have been just, fuck no, something going on. But, um, got it done in the end. It was just a 3.6K run, so it wasn't nothing. Nothing major, third run of the week. Tried to aim for between like 3.5 to 5K on my runs. Nothing too long, because I'm not really like an aerobic, fitness type of guy I'm more of like anaerobic you know like fast paced movements I was always I think my build especially I'm quite like a bigger guy thicker guy I'm more like explosive do you know what I mean so like heavy weights and stuff like that but the running is doing me good feeling healthy feeling fit and the weight should be coming off nicely now like I am tracking my macros my calories I might do like a full day of my diet and like my daily routine to lose fat I might do that soon, so let me know if you want to see that, but I'm going to jump in the shower and then I'm going to get some tea, show you what we get for some food later on. So we're just going to finish off tea, Laura put it in, we've got just a simple tea today, we've got low fat sausages, homemade chips and peas, I might mash these up, so like, like macho peas, macho peas from Nando's, put a bit of, a little bit of butter in, a bit of salt and pepper, pepper, tastes pretty nice, might have a bit of gravy as well, proper northern as us. Now I mean, you've got my United shirt on, got my pyjamas on, <laughs> and the shower. Ooh. I just weighed myself as well and it's like late. You're usually supposed to weigh yourself in the morning, aren't you? And I was the lightest I've ever been yet on this diet, so that's good news as well. We just gotta keep it going and by summer, shred it. Yeah. 
Yeah, it would. Sausages, chips, peas, proper northerners tea. Very hungry. So I don't know if anyone's been watching it, but the cabins are actually decent on ITV too, you know. Honestly, I always love Love Island and stuff like that. It's actually quite, it's good to watch reality TV and stuff, isn't it? It's nice to switch off from the real world and just watch some shit TV that makes you laugh about how bad some people are. Some people on that show are so weird. It makes you feel like quite good about yourself and normal, you know what I mean? Anyway, yeah, we're just gonna chill. We've got a Diet Coke. Our dogs are sleeping. And then we're gonna get uh, like a snack in a bit. Yeah, a nice evening snack to finish off the calorie. Because to be honest, today I've not eaten much. I've had that meal deal you saw before, that tea then. And usually I'm trying to aim about 2,500 calories. So I've got about 800 left. But maybe we'll just have a bit of a lower day today and have some pancakes tomorrow. This is one of the good things about being under calories on your diet. You can have a bit of chocolate and be flexible with it. Fucking hell, 35 pounds doesn't look like much, does it? No. Oh, I think this is my favourite chocolate, you know. Mm -hmm. It's very good. It's very ideal. Mm. So guys, I was going to have another meal, but to be honest, I'm pretty full, so there's no really point in eating, is there, if... You know what I mean? You're already full. So I'll just save my calories for tomorrow, like an extra 500 calories to have tomorrow, which is quite nice. Very nice. Maybe I can even treat myself to a bit of a takeaway or something. Yeah, not bad at all. Just going to put the dogs to bed. No, it's pretty, I think it's like quarter past 11. I'm going to go to bed myself. <laughs> <laughs>